There's my brother. And that is my cousin next to me. These are my parents. And those are my grandparents. Sarah and her brother both have freckles on their faces and wear glasses. As you can see, they get their freckles and their eyesight from their parents. This is because Sarah and her brother have common ancestors, their grandparents. This is an example of the fact that all life on earth is descended from a common ancestor. So we can say that biological evolution is descent with modification. This lesson explains how species are formed and how they evolve over generations. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to define evolution, explain the mechanism of evolution, define variation, explain the mechanism of evolutionary changes, define species, define speciation, and describe the process of speciation. Evolution is defined as a genetic change in a population that is inherited over several generations. The question is, in what manner are these genetic differences passed on? Some researchers believed life developed in a linear fashion from simple forms to complex forms. Charles Robert Darwin had a different theory of evolution. He set out on a voyage, observed various species of life on earth and put forward the idea of evolution of species by natural selection. Darwin compared the emergence of new species to the branching of a tree. He said that a species inherits its characters from its ancestors. To understand evolution, let's look at some examples. These are two different beetle populations. Both these species of beetles usually feed on the leaves of a particular bush. We will see which of these beetle populations is an example of evolution. The bush gets infested with a disease and the amount of leaf material available to the beetles is reduced. So, during the course of generations, the average weight of the beetles decreases. When the plant disease is eliminated, the average weight of the beetles returns to normal. Since the change is not inherited over generations, this is not an example of evolution. Now, look at this sample population of two types of beetles. Around 90% of the beetles are green and 10% are brown. This means 90% have genes that provide the color green and 10% have genes that provide the color brown. Generations later, this is what the sample population looks like. Brown beetles make up about 70% of the population. These two generations of the same population are genetically different, showing an evolutionary change. Changes in genes of color variation occur and are inherited over generations. So, this is an example of evolution. Evolution requires genetic variation. Variation is the differences among individuals of a species caused by genetic and environmental factors. Let us discuss this with the same beetle example. A green beetle population turning into brown beetles through an evolutionary change is called a mutation. A mutation is a change in the sequence of nitrogen-based pairs in the DNA. 
a mutation in the gene for green coloration in green beetles leads to offspring with brown coloration. There may be a situation where some brown beetles join a population of green beetles. This is called migration. Breeding between the brown and green beetles introduces new gene combinations into the population. This movement of genes from brown beetles to green beetles is called gene flow. Let's consider a slightly different situation. A population of green and brown beetles is crawling on the leaves of a bush when a bird appears. Brown beetles are more visible on the bushes than green beetles. So the bird is more likely to feed on them. Green beetles which are likely to survive will bear the responsibility of producing the offspring. They will pass their genes for green coloration onto their offspring. Therefore, the green beetle is better adapted to the environment than the brown beetle. This process in which organisms are best suited to their environment is called natural selection. Now, let's talk about another situation. In a sample of green and brown beetles, several green beetles are killed when a man steps onto the bushes where the beetles are feeding. This results in a greater number of brown beetles in the next generation. So, accidents in small populations can change the frequency of some genes in a population. This genetic variation in small populations caused by an environmental factor is called a genetic drift. Let's see how the speciation happens. Before that, let's understand what a species is. Take a look at the spiders. Each spider looks different, but they are all able to interbreed. A species is defined as a group of individuals that can interbreed in nature. Thus, we can say that these spiders belong to the same species. Speciation is an event that splits a population into two independent species which cannot reproduce with each other. Let's see a simplified scenario of speciation by geographic isolation. Here is a population of beetles laying their eggs on bananas. If a hurricane strikes the mainland and the bananas with the beetle eggs on them are washed away to an island, it is called genetic drift. The beetles hatch out of the eggs and mature on the island. Ecological conditions are slightly different on the island as compared to the mainland. This leads to a change in morphology and food preferences in the beetles over the course of generations. In case another storm occurs, the beetles from the island may get washed back to the mainland. However, the beetles will not breed with the mainland beetles any longer since they've evolved different behavioral characteristics by now. The few that do mate with the mainland beetles produce inviable eggs because of the genetic differences between the two populations. The lineage has split now. Genes cannot flow between the populations anymore. This process is referred to as speciation.